Yeah, an insane UFO was just seen in space as the Crew-9 captured the object as it drastically changed direction in incredible speeds. And that's later in the video. First, we're starting with a strange UFO sighting over Colombia. Some teens were recording on their smartphones at nighttime and caught this strange UFO that at first they thought was actually Starlink until they realized it was coming out in different colors and Starlink doesn't do that. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Yo no sé, pero... Eso está en la mierda, man. Sí, eso está en la mierda. Se está moviendo, ahí se movió. Se está moviendo, ¿Sí? marica. Ahí se está moviendo, loco. ¿Sí? ¿Mire? ¡Ay, marica se está moviendo hacia allá, güey! Sí, sí. ¡Se fue! ¿Sí vio? ¡Se fue! ¡Ay, qué culo, rea! Marica, marica se fue, weón. Marica, y si pillo, porque había otra avión allá, vean. Yo tengo que ir allá. Ay, yo no vi dónde está. Ay, qué gono re. Isn't that interesting? At first I thought maybe it was like some type of drone or, or some type of connection to a satellite until it just abruptly vanished. That was such a strange sighting. Stranger still was the sighting over Munich that a couple saw while they were taking a stroll together, they looked up and they saw what they call the Munich Lights. Now, this is not a UFO. It's a lot of UFOs. Take a look at this. The, that was a lot of orbs. I, I don't even know what to say. That was a lot that they saw in the sky. I would probably be freaking out, but I'm glad they took the time to record it uh, and push it out to us so that we can do some research because that was very anomalous to me. They didn't look like any uh, lanterns or a, a drones. That was a lot of little orbs of light. That was crazy. Crazier still is this allegation that the US government hasn't just been reverse engineering UFOs, but it's actually done it. And it did so a long time ago around the uh, operation paperclip back in those days again nothing too credible it i don't know this person but they seem they claim to have inside information about this ufo and they say that we in fact made it and that is not a non-human intelligence technology let me know what you think about that in the comments below back to the sightings we have this insane strange horseshoe shaped ufo this ufo actually resembles the ufo that was shot down in the yukon the one that canada talked about recently that was a whole big ordeal in alaska this ufo apparently looks very very similar uh, and this is actually a great capture take a look Now it is a great UFO, but it gets even better because people have taken out the time to really get the framework done, really reduce the speed, get a great zoom in and get some clarity to get a better look at this object. And guess what? After this amazing enhancement, <laughs> more mystery popped up. Check out the enhancements first though.
Now, here's the thing. After I found these, I'm like, wow, these are super cool. I love the enhancements. Uh, I scroll a little further, and someone claims that this UFO sighting is actually from 2012. And there were multiple videos of this UFO that are seemingly scrubbed from the internet. Um, however, they even went through old websites. I think they used the Wayback Machine. They were looking through it. You found evidence of the other video, but it is completely gone. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. In July of 2012, two videos surfaced showing a mysterious horseshoe-shaped UFO over Busan, South Korea. One of these videos gained viral attention, while the other seems to have vanished from the internet. The first video, which I've stabilized, was posted by channel Donuts with X's for Flares and quickly went viral, sparking debates about whether the footage was real or a hoax. After stabilizing the footage, the object's crescent or horseshoe shape became clearer, raising questions about its flight dynamics and the object's authenticity. The footage has since caught the attention of the media, with articles like the Daily Mail drawing comparisons to the UFO shot down over Yukon in 2023. But according to a MUFON report, there's a second video, this one taken from an airplane. This footage, however, has never been found. The only evidence we have of it is a low-resolution screen grab published in the Korea Times on July 31st of 2012. The MUFON report does mention a link embedded. I was not able to track down where this link was located within the UFO database I had access to. The screen grab taken from the Korean Times clearly shows the plane's engine in the frame, confirming it's different from the other video often mistaken for the same event. But despite our best efforts, this footage seems to have vanished, leaving us with more questions than answers. It's important to note that the video often circulated as the second video looks more like a raindrop on a window and it doesn't match the details described in the MUFON report or the screen grab from the Korea Times. The Korea Times covered the incident on July 31st of 2012 at 7.22 p.m., confirming the existence of the second video filmed from the airplane. The article describes how this video alongside the Donuts video sparked a fierce online UFO debate. The channel Donuts with X's for Flare uploaded hundreds of UFO sightings from 2011 to 2013, gaining millions of views before vanishing into obscurity. But UFO researcher John Greenwald Jr. recently made a striking observation. He noticed that an object seen in one of these videos over Busan, South Korea, bears an eerie resemblance to the object shot down over Yukon, Canada in 2013. Greenwald has raised the question, could these sightings be connected? Interestingly, in 2013, a company called WorldPix bought the rights to Donuts footage, licensing UFO videos for commercial use. But since then, both the channel and WorldPix have gone silent. So the rabbit hole for this one goes a little bit deep. The image of the actual 2023 incident, which was, happened in Yukon, Canada, was released a year after the event took place. And it was purported to be a metallic object that was floating, but required to be on diesel power. We do have some redactions that we're not able to see. People in the news are saying that this could be legitimate, this could be a balloon. There are things deleted and things not found and things that at least intrigue me. So I'm compiling together all of the links that I have found so far in this into one spot for someone else to pick up. Maybe I caught a link that someone else didn't. Please reach out to me if you did find that video that is missing and I hope that uh, we uncover the truth. There we go, yet again, another UFO mystery. This reminds me of the flight, the plane with the orbs, you know, the, and is that like, it's fake, it's not fake. Now we have a whole other mystery. I'm sure this was going to be uh, debunked and rebunked and debunked a million times. <laughs> Speaking of debunked, though, there is a strange sighting that can't be debunked. This is the one we talked about earlier, and I'm so excited to share this one with you guys. Guys, this is such a short clip, but the Crew-9 captured this object tumbling in space. And then it drastically changed direction at the end of the video, which objects don't just do unless they're being controlled. And this is up in space, so that only means one thing. This is an insane video and it could be all the proof that we need. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that one is so compelling to me. 
the way it just changed direction at the end is kind of freaky and freaking awesome that may just be the one let me know what y'all think in the comments do you think that uh, i mean what else could it be guys smash that like and subscribe make sure you check out that compilation right there and those paranormal videos right there